here with Bradley Payton from Power Plus in the Melbourne manufacturing facility. Yes. And um, we're just going to have a look at some of our enclosure options for the Power Plus Eco battery and the Power Plus Life Black premium products. Yes. Well, um, Jason, what we found was that as people were installing batteries, they had many different applications. And depending on the capacity they required, or whether it was going to go into a shed, or the side of a house, or under a carport, um, they had different needs and different requirements. So because of the design of our battery, it's quite flexible to fit into different applications. So to make it easier for installers, while we started out using the standard 19 inch uh, data cabinets, and they're one of our most popular lines, we've also come up with a range of um, uh, options for the batteries to be installed in some of these other locations. Yeah. And so primarily the interest was in depth. So these cabinets are only 300 mil deep. So it's not taking up space, you know, car parking space. Um, it's not encroaching on walkways and they've proven to be quite popular. Uh, most of our cabinets are IP56, so they can be mounted outside, um, right. and the batteries don't need ventilation. So this one, for example, uh, has some simple quarter turns. The door just lifts off, and inside we have room in this cabinet for up to uh, nine batteries, and uh, it's quite a simple install, um, and it's proven to be quite popular. So you've got some of those um similar enclosures for three batteries, four batteries, yes, six, nine, yes, and then the um, data racks which are rated indoor and they go up to 20 cells? Yes, up to 20. And you can parallel as many cabinets as you like. So if an in, a homeowner wants to put in four or five batteries now, in two or three years they want to add some additional batteries, they can just put another cabinet alongside. So maybe nice. if we just have a look at the, the entry level cabinets, um, these are designed um, to take uh, three batteries. They're pre-wired, uh, so all the installer has to do is fix it to the wall, install the battery, and it's got the same quick um, Amphenol connection. This is available in a 300 deep cabinet with three batteries and a 400 mil deep cabinet that takes uh, four batteries. Yeah. And so and you can you know, stack so you can more on top. Three, yeah. yeah, stack it on top or alongside and um, that makes for a nice, uh, neat, tidy installation. They're available in a powder coated finish or in the stainless steel. Nice. Um, and back over this way, um, available in the black at the moment and the surf mist, uh, these cabinets, uh, again, only 300 mil deep. However, We have room for uh, six batteries, so uh, or and then there's a gear plate at the top uh, with ventilation to allow you to mount um, your inverter inside. So whatever a choice inverter you have, um, this one here showing this electronic. Uh, we also customers uh, installers use um, other products like Outback and uh, Victron. Yeah, and you, yes, and you can put MPPTs or whatever you like in here as well. So uh, a nice, neat, simple, outdoor rated enclosure that will um, uh, can go under the eaves or in the carport or in the shed. Very nice. We've got these nice sort of <laughs> curves on the top. We all like a bit of curve. So yeah, great job with the enclosures. Um, should we talk more about the yes. eco cell? So when we first started designing batteries, our focus was very much on off-grid, remote, critical mining, long distance. And so um, we've chosen sort of a, a premium cell to go inside of the batteries. Yeah. Um, they handle temperature really well and they've got the run, lots of data which runs yes. on the board. So we have a lot of supporting data. Um, and so we're very comfortable. We offer a full 10 year warranty 80% end of life capacity. Um, one thing though that's important to understand is the 80% end of life capacity is a, a metric or a measure that was is, is left over from the lead acid uh, environment. What happens with a lead acid battery is over its life of 10 or more years, as the battery gradually degrades in capacity down to 80%, 
the battery is considered to be quite reliable. Once it gets past 80%, it's quite possible for the cells in the lead acid battery to collapse rather rapidly and unexpected. Drops it drops off. Um, so because the industry is used to that, we still use that term now. The difference being is that lithium batteries degrade in a more linear fashion. So even though you may at some point in the future get to an 80% capacity, which we still refer to as 80% end of life, because that's what the industry is used to saying, the lithium will actually keep um, working for many years after that, just at a reduced capacity. You don't have that same dramatic uh, drop off as you would with a lead acid. Nice. Um, because we designed our life series as a premium product, it's a little bit more expensive than many of the imported batteries that come from China and Korea, etc. And um, those products in their warranty typically uh, will warrant to a 60% end of life capacity. And partially that's because they're based on uh, lithium nickel manganese cobalt. It doesn't have as long a service life uh, typically as lithium ferrophosphate. So um, we've established, uh, sorry, our eco battery is identical uh, in every facet to the life battery as far as its construction, uh, the materials, the cables, the battery management system, the connectors, the circuit breakers, they're all the same. What we've done is we've chosen a standard grade lithium cell that will offer a little bit more capacity and a lower price so that we're able to offer an alternative to some of the, uh, the imported products from, uh, from China and other Asian countries. And we're able to provide it at a similar dollar per kilowatt hour. And so we've matched the warranty that these imported products offer of uh, 10 years, but 60% end of life capacity. Um, it doesn't mean that the battery won't last your 10 plus years. It just means that um, we're offering a standard grade cell that's suitable for many off-grid and domestic applications. Yeah, and it's really good bang for buck, four kilowatt yes. cell yes. Um, at that price point. Um, yeah, it's a really smart idea, I think, to enter the market there. But some of the feedback um, I get from some of our installers is, well, you know, they might get something that's slightly, slightly cheaper, but the extra time it takes to commission those cheaper cells just doesn't add up because they're they're on site for longer. And Even though we've more. used a standard grade cell, the, our philosophy as a company is that we want it to be easy to install, easy to maintain, easy to expand, um, easy to get repairs. It's going to be reliable and easy to use for the homeowner for the life of their system. So. It's not necessarily about the highest energy density or the fastest charge rate. It's about a system that's fit for purpose, that's gonna suit the characteristics of the inverter you're using, and it becomes uh, just a reliable, no frills, um, long service life battery. And I, I feel strongly, and with the feedback we're getting from installers and from end users, is that we've achieved that by its simplicity, um, and by the quality and reliability of the components we've chosen to go inside. Yeah, I know we spoke about this, about the life black, but um, same with the eco cell, you can use it off grid, it's a great replacement for yes. lead acid. Um, and I could probably repeat some of those advantages again. Um, you know, it's, it's it, the footprint and- uh, Yes, look, a, a lithium battery is, you know, a third the weight of a lead acid system. It's, um, it's typically it'll be at least a quarter of the footprint of putting in the lead acid battery system. It is, um, the, the batteries are uh, t 20 to 30 percent more efficient. So when you pour weather, you get more power stored in the lithium battery. The, um, you don't have a single point of failure. Um, if you need to work off of a generator, you can charge at C2 instead of C10. Um, so you have less run hours and less fuel on your generator. Uh, if you happen to have one battery fail in a lead acid system that affects the whole battery system, where with a lithium system, all you need to do is turn off the one battery, disconnect it, pull it out, the rest of the system keeps working. As in this cabinet, we've only got three batteries. If in a year's time, the customer wants to increase their capacity, they can just slide another battery in uh, the connection system is sitting on the front, it's all pre-wired, 
all they have to do is plug in uh, the connectors and away they go. And uh, the only programming that's needed is to increase the capacity settings in your inverter. Um, other than that, it's fully self-managed. Very nice. And even we're getting some of these installed in houseboats and things like that where yes. you know the weight and that footprint's really critical. One, one really appealing area is more and more is uh, grey nomads in their caravans because they have limited roof capacity for PV um, and they need to match, uh, watch their uh, towing uh, capacities uh, on the ball, um, the ball weight and the tow weight. Yep. Um, with the lithium being a, a smaller form factor, uh, being you know, a third the weight um, and the higher efficiency, it means that they've got more available power um, than what they would with a, a similar lead acid system. Yeah, we've even seen some in coffee vans. And oh, yes. Um, lots, lots of, of buses vans. being retrofitted with them, uh, a lot of uh, uh, lunch uh, sort of type caravans, um, and work vehicles as well. You know, we've, um, we'll have one or two batteries fitted up against the firewall with an inverter and a power point, so that uh, in trade vehicles, they've got uh, mains power. But scalable, so you can, yes. you know, yep. um, some really big stuff getting put together with these cells. Yes, most definitely. And um, yeah, with those racking options, you know, you can have well, look, you it, know, 60 cells all. The beauty of the format is that the cells, the batteries can be flat, they can be on their side, they can be on their end. And because they're only 86 millimetres thick, it makes it easy for the, to go into the back of a closet or in a cupboard or um, you know, in a narrow cabinet. Yeah. Uh, or exactly. if you want the high energy density. Just against the wall. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So there's no specific requirements as long as you uh, meet installation standards. Um, there's no specific requirements for the battery itself. Fantastic.